bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. It's an exciting day. It's new build day. Um, and you'll see here, we've got two boxes. That's because really they're, they are uh, related. So I think we'll build them as if they are one, but we'll start with this one. But can you look at the amount of minifigures we get uh, with this? All right, so let, we'll take that one out of the way for now. And uh, we'll have a little look at the box. Uh, obviously we're building a very colorful uh, temple. I'm loving all of these little stalls here. That looks marvelous. Um, Great, that all looks like lovely fun. Anything on the back? A bit more detail. Oh, look, little Sue, there's a rather special tree there. Um, brilliant. We've got, looks like we've got a fireworks stall, um, some sort of micro figure stall. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Uh, some screens, family scenes, lots of lanterns. All right, okay, lovely. I'll open the box and then we will open. We'll have the ceremonial opening of the instruction booklet. Thank you. Look, I'm, I'm feeling thrilled. Um, I can report that there are nine bags in this kit. They're all quite small bags, so we might find uh, that we're doing more than one bag a day, but we'll see how we get on. Sorry, I should have done a drum roll. Should have done a drum roll. Now this looks interesting to me because um, this three, it looks to me as if there's three books in here. Yes, there are three books in here. That's that one. What's this? Gosh. Well, okay. That's book one. That's book two. And that's book three. Well, I've never seen that before. I wonder why they made that decision. Okay. There we go. Um... And those of you who love a knoll, we're going to now do one. So without further ado, let's just do our first knoll in absolutely ages. Off we go. Little, oh, sorry, I haven't done the Pearson. Oh, no, that'll be a yellow card. Anyway, all right, hang on, here's the Pearson. And now the Pearson. Fury rescued just in time. Um, right, off we go. We're starting with this this little book. Um, tell you what, little Sue, I think you're going to love this build. It's got lots of flowers. Oh, that's really, really good to know. Thank, thanks, Emma. And looks look like we've got some very lovely and interesting. Uh, uh, trees and things, so that's good. Right, let's start with our minifigs. <clears throat> uh, 
so I'm loving the colours already. Look, dungarees. Now this guy, he comes with a I'm about to puke face and a, oh, I'm perfectly happy face. So I think we'll, I don't know why he has to have a I'm about to puke face, but um, we'll start him off, I think, with uh, the happy face, a rather fabulous hat. Now then, what's your name? your name? What is your name? Uh, I think, I think you're, I think you're a fella. I I, I'm, that's what, I'm not really, what's your name? Actually, no, maybe you're, uh, 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 what's your name? Come on, come, come to me, come to me name, come to me name. Um, I think, I think you're Lizzie. 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 Next one. Mm. That's, that's, that's a face that says I'm very pleased with myself, isn't it? Um, now, what's your name? Um, I think, I think you're called Brad. Mm. All right, Brad, Brad and Lizzie. Uh, Brad is getting, no, I'm not entirely sure what this is, but he's getting it. That. Hmm, what do we think this is? A firework? we think that is anyway he's holding one in his hand what is it a candy what is it right okay oh we're starting with something absolutely delightful that will make little sue very happy might even go in for this Keep our mini figs there in the corner of shot. Uh, we thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's Jillian B. This build had such wonderful details on each floor, eh? Even the roof with the dome on top. Wow, we. Sorry, I seem to have a bit of verbal diarrhea today. I remember cutting out whatever my teachers had laminated. We would ask, Madame, est-ce que tu as besoin d'aide? And she, if she said yes, I should do that. Do that French again, please, Emma. Sorry, Julian B. Madame, est-ce que tu as besoin d'aide? And if she said yes, then we would be able to cut out the laminated items instead of going outside for recess, which was especially exciting when it was very cold outside in the winter, eh? Hmm, thank you, Gillian B. I'm just checking, Gillian B, that... Because I've got two pet... Yes, I think there was, yes. There was another Gillian B. An excellent halftime show. Nice to see the friendship between Felicia and Brian Duda. Holy moly, Jackie Swan in Affleweka Trez, yikes. So 8N is folic acid? I'm lost. Uh, join the club. I'd like for little Sue to recite a passage from the tent, the bucket and me, but I can't find something short enough and I worry about selecting something that won't end up with myself in Affleweka Trez and make little Sue say something naughty, eh? Hmm. Well, I 
hear you. Oh look, little Sue. We're already off to a to a, a flowery start. That's lovely, isn't it? <coughs> Never ending boing Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair. Never ending boing Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair. Right, he's off. Uh, I do hope you're not intimating that I'd show any interest in getting a lady into trouble. Oh, I do hope not, miss. Good grief, I'm positively swimming through your mucosal backdraft. I know that was it was a very big sneeze, but to be fair, I did give you fair warning. I mean, I did. I did give you fair warning. Um, oh, thrilled. We've got a new Afawak. <laughs> We've got a new Afawak. Thrill to pieces. Uh, Adam Warren, we welcome you in. Uh, we welcome you in, Adam Warren. We welcome you in. <laughs> He's saying my sneeze, this is in reference to my sneeze, actually made me jump. Uh, L-M-A-O. Uh, well, well, honestly, Adam, I, I always get so thrilled when Afawaks come forth. Absolutely thrilled. So welcome, welcome, welcome to you. And long may you continue to uh, communicate uh, with the Afflewax. Uh, Eric Oswald, wonderful halftime show. Let the River Run is one of my all-time favourite movie themes. Yep, me too. Me too, actually, Eric. Uh, Gary Blair, could it, would it, might it be possible to post all the halftime shows as separate ickle videos go on now do you just mean the stop frame animations um i could do that what, what would you would you like them posted all together as as one uh as like a, a one you know what i'm saying do you, do you want one video of all the halftime shows or do you want the halftime shows to be posted individually uh let me know i'm very happy to do it of course of course i am of course i am um what i was i i did do it a couple of times but i i stopped doing it because i thought it ruined the surprise was uh i posted um i would put the the half time shows oh I'm making a right cack of this aren't i um hang on please that i i uh, oh no oh little sue we're off to a terrible start where's oh no where's it gone oh crumbs where's i can't lose that on the first the first day of a new build there it is come on felicia <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what I'd do without you, Felicia. Thank you, Felicia. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so back. What? Where was I? Um, I was posting the halftime shows. Uh, uh, up over on the Patreon for the Patreon gooses so that they got an exclusive but actually I stopped doing it because I thought do you know what it's it's sort of, it's ruining the surprise but I will leave it up to the gooses if the gooses if you would like uh, early access to the halftime shows uh, in their own right I'm very happy to to post them up little Sue will you look at this I can't, I can barely speak, am I? It's so pretty. Aren't there going to be loads of these? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, it's like Christmas has come early. Yeah, I know, but anyway, shush now, because we haven't got to you yet. Um, <sighs> Gary Blair uh, just says, ha, 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 she's up the swanny. I have no idea what he's referring to. 
Um, if he's referring to Jackie Swan, she, she's coming out of Afawakatras any minute now, as soon as I've finished the Google Eyes business. Uh, no, Rain Cullen. Best starry yet. Tw half, at, half 11 at night, laughing my head off in bed. What am I doing? Well, got better ones than that. Um, Gary Blair. What a most marvellous fancy skylight. Now, don't you go sitting on it with your bear behind. Imagine the shock the bank customers would have from that eclipse. Rude. We call it a Kennedy moon. Rude. Rude. Well, right, let's get Twitter business up and running now. How have you not done it? No, come on, little So we're, we're past that now. We, you sassing me because I haven't got Twitter business up and running. Yeah, but have you got it up and running? No, I haven't actually, as a matter of fact. Thank you. Oh, well then, do you need me to cover? No, I've got it now. Oh, we were getting on so well. Uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, the vile, the official referee of Relaxford Lego. Um, he says, I think you missed out a couple of dark sloped bricks that finish off the roof bit with all the pulleys on the side. Uh, yes, uh, yes, Miss Grimtriggs. Uh, I realised that as soon as I'd finished filming and I fixed it. I fixed it. Oh, look. Oh, look. Look at, will you look at that, please? That's rather good, isn't it? Oh, this is going to be excellent. Oh, this is going to be excellent. Uh, Gary, uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, re-disappearing threads. They sometimes go wonky when people reply to a tweet in the middle of the thread. If you click on the last tweet of the thread that you can see so that it is in focus, the next tweet in the thread should be revealed in the replies. Well, I honestly, you might not believe me, but I honestly did try that yesterday with uh, with Pink Lady and not for the life of me could I find it. Uh, look, before we proceed, I think we need to, um, we need to bring Jackie Swan out uh, from Afawakatras. Um, it, it hasn't sat well with me that she's in there. I'll be honest. Oh. Oh, oh, don't push it. Pull it out, pull it out. Come on, Felicia, come on, Felicia! Oh, oh, Felicia. Come on, Felicia, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay, you've done it. Come on, Jackie Swan. You've done, you've, you've done the time uh, for the crime. Uh, out you come. So, sorry that you're being grabbed by it. There we are. Oh, Jackie. Jackie. Oh, I'm glad you're out. I'm very glad you're out, Jackie. Uh, there we go, look. There we go. Let's give you back your, your tools. That's it. Super. Over there. Thank you. Thanks, Jackie Swan. Right, you're out. You're out. You're out. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Right, let's come back in, shall we? <clears throat> uh, Dame Dawn French. Uh, Would you like me to um uh, to translate that for people? She says, re half time show, re sorry Sigourney Hoover. Oh, that's that's so boingy. That's so boingy. She's called her sorry Sigourney Hoover. Oh, Mr. Graham Triggs. Mr. Graham Triggs, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I must have an adjudication on that. I must have an adjudication. Uh, wow. She's she's getting bulk. She's out of control. <sighs> anyway, she says, re halftime show. We sorry, Sigourney Hoover. She had it coming. Oh, Mr. Graham Triggs, please, please. Please, an adjudication, please. Please, an adjudication. She wasn't even supposed to be in the film. She just turned up. Bustling in. I went, no, you can't, no, you can't be in the film, no. 
and then in she came with her left hook out of control absolutely out of control look this is delightful isn't it this is absolutely delightful uh, Tim Goff, uh, very kind uh, of the director to give a relative newcomer an opportunity to work alongside a national treasure. Um, were you nervous about working with Felicia, Dame Dawn? Oh. <laughs> oh, you've been boinged. You've been boinged, Dame Dawn. You've been boinged real bad. Real bad by the man who may or may not. What a renaissance, a super halftime show. Uh, I have a little Sue Speaks request. Tap uh, image to expand. Um, oh, all right then. Um, so without further ado, it's time for a little Sue recites. <coughs> the raven himself is hoarse. Hang on a minute, Emma, because a raven is a bird and a horse is a horse. So how can a raven be a horse, uh, Emma? Well, it, it's not a horse horse because it's spelt in a slightly different way. And I know that, that this is a bit of Shakespeare, little Sue, but uh, in this instance, horse means you've got a bit of a sore throat. Oh. Uh, do do. Do ravens get sore throats then, Emma? Um, well, I think in this instance, for poetic purposes, probably yes. Uh, anyway, continue. Okay, okay. That croaks the final entrance of Duncan. Is that Duncan from Blue, Emma? Um, no, I, I don't think he was alive in 1610, no. It's probably someone else. Probably it's a, it'll be a different Duncan, little Sue. Just uh, just crack on. That under my battlements is that a euphemism, Emma? Are you going to ask questions about every line? Probably. Um, no, under my battlements is not a euphemism. Uh, no, it isn't, little Sue. No, please continue. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts. Unsex me here. Hang on a minute, that's a bit rude, isn't it? Well, no, it, this is actually a Lady Macbeth speech and uh, when she says unsex me here, um, it, it's, it's, it's meaning give, give her uh, the strength of a man uh, and the ruthlessness of a man. It's, it's quite complex and it's probably too long to go into here. Please carry on. And fill me from the crown to the toe, well, top full. Hang on a minute, Emma. They, they, that how can you be be full, filled up from a from the crown to the toe because that's going down. It's not filling up. It's emptying. What? It, who wrote this rubbish? Um, it, it's a man called uh, William Shakespeare. Have you heard of him? Yeah, I mean, don't patronise me, please. Of course, I've heard of William Shakespeare. But is he some sort of idiot that he thinks that he thinks you can fill something up if you go from the top to the bottom? Is he is he some sort of a simpleton, Emma? <sighs> Um, no, he he just he just got that bit wrong, little Sue. Anyway, carry on, please. Of direst cruelty, make thick my blood. What with some flour? Is he going to eat it? Is he making blood custard, Emma? Oh, God, I don't <sighs> no, he's not making blood custard, little Sue. No. Stop up the access and passage to remorse. Is passage to remorse a euphemism, Emma? No, it isn't. That no comp compunctuous compunctuous well done visitings of nature shake my fell purpose 
nor keep peace between the effects. And it, what does that mean? It really doesn't matter. Press the button. Oh, good grief. Well, so thanks for that little Sue. That was super. Well done. Thanks for that little Sue. That was really good. Yep. Uh, hang on a minute. So, so I need to count. I've got enough flowers. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. No, I haven't. Don't you be missing all those flowers. I know. I'll be very cross. Well, oh dear, don't worry. I know, I know what happens when you're a bit cross, little Sue. Uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, there is no way Mr. Brown could hide under one of the bricks even when they're being spotted. Even a base plate, Mr. Brown, of course, is the resident gigormous. That's a new word. He's the gigormous spider uh, that lives in the Lego shed, um, who has not been seen uh, for a few days, which is worrying. Will you look at this? It's just a delight. Well, I... Th uh, uh. I think that might be the, the nicest little tree we've ever had on Relax With Bricks. Oh, it's just divine. Divine. We're not even finished yet. Oh, World Renaissance, you're wrong. Uh, World Renaissance has now sent this gif of Mr. Brown. <sighs> I mean, size is accurate. Si size is accurate there. Uh, Jim Burns says, uh, Mr. Brown goes off to town. Mr. Brown goes off to town, yeah. Uh, Kipford, uh, Kipford O'Bere uh, has also sent in uh, a little poem for uh, little Sue to do. Um, so, uh, press the button. All right. Haiku for Menace. Look at Gary Blair. His boinging is never ending. Don't hurt little Sue. Press the button. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. Very good. Very good. Uh, uh, can we just, can we just please? Look at this loveliness. Just lovely, lovely, lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Uh, oh, now, I, I have to inform you that, that there, there seems to be uh, a new Affleck in town uh, called Kitford O'Blaire. Kitford O'Blaire. Kitford O'Blaire. Kitford O'Blaire. There, there has been some... Uh, just about this. Anyway, uh, that's uh, they, they've got another uh, poem for you, little Sue. Well, press the button. Oh, Blair Ray's poo a tree corner. I, I don't feel good about this, am I? Just keep going. Hi, poo one introduction. I, think, I mean, I've got suspicions already as to who this is. Oh, hi, Poo. Oh, no, what a mistake to make. It's so beret. Oh, that's a boinger. Please press that button. And please press the button. Ah, <sighs> oh, gee whiz. Uh, Kidford Oldberry, I shouldn't even be in jail. I should be free pending the outcome of my ombuds goose appeal. Fortunately for you, I've sent you the whole transcript so you don't have to miss out. Uh, Pink Lady, I'm awaiting the official call from Emma for the Ombuds Goose ruling in this matter, but weighing the evidence, uh, meanwhile, uh, I've, I've given her permission to proceed, the, the Ombuds Goose. Um, oh my goodness, I do believe, and I can't even believe it, it's time for the halftime show.
wouldn't enjoy the half time. By the way, oh, we've never had this before. I might come out now. Never had that before, so that can have a switch swoo. Look at that lovely lantern. Look, we're making it even nicer. Oh, oh. Now where's that going? It's going here. Oh, will you look at that deliciousness? Um, then we want this. Sorry, massive burp. Guess why? Guess why? Oh, have you had a fruity breakfast, Emma? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have had a fruity breakfast. Yes. That's exactly what I've done. Yes. Fruity breakfast for me. Oh! Be careful. Just be careful. There. Oh, look. Look. Really nice. Uh, Bevis Muffin and Uncle Strawberry. The Sensei. Bevis the Matara, the Moaning Mini. Um, the Lego Whisperer. He says, uh, taking into consideration his hat and his liking of parrot, I would suggest that Tim's half time show be outer space themed. <laughs> That that halftime show is is surely coming. I'm 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 just sitting, pondering, what the Tim Goff halftime show should be. The possibilities are endless. Maybe Tim Goff has a request as to what his uh, halftime show will be, uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, Bevis Musson, did Rosie Lee just imply that she might eat Mister the Var if he's not careful? I don't think she did. As office manager, I also keep the laminator under lock and key to stop everybody using it all the bloody time. Who knew that people loved laminating this much? I, I was unaware that this was a thing. I mean, I've worked in offices and we never had a laminate. There was never a laminator to be seen. We had none of that. We had none of that joy. Mm. Look, we're making something here. I tell you what I think I'm going to like about this set is it feels like it's all full of little tiny little bits which I love it's it feels like it's going to be all detail which is joyous absolutely joyous uh, Bevis oh no I've put them on in the wrong place he's quoting me of course and then you proceed to remove and move along every single clip rather than just putting one on the end of the row where it should have been. It's almost like he's living up to his name of the moaning mini, isn't it? It's almost as if. Oh, look, there's a little flame going in there. Look. It's not tethered down, though, and you know my feelings on that. Uh, but this mustn't, as a witness for the defence, Pink Lady, I'm fully happy to say it was Kitford what done it well, we'll see. Uh, you've got some of the pulleys used as decorative pieces on top the wrong way round. They should all have the wheel side showing. I fixed it. I too would like a ride down the chute into the thingamabob, assuming my massive beehive will fit. Yes, I think I'll, I'll have to do a, a, a slide down the thingamabob uh, special. Not today. But we'll, we will do it. Maybe we can incorporate it into, li into the next Live and Bricking, which is called, don't forget, it's the first Saturday of the month. So it's the first Saturday in August. And you can win if you are a goose. That's what you can win. That's up for grabs, the Boba Fett helmet. If you want to be in it to win it, you're going to have to goose up. Goosing up, goosing up, goosing up, goosing up. Goose up, goose up. What do you mean you haven't goosed up yet? It means you're licensed to brick. Come on, goose up, gang. You can do it for as little as three pounds a month. She said in her best advertising voice. Uh, three pounds a month and you're licensed to brick. For 30 plus hours of free content. The price of a coffee. 
etc. Little Sue, she's called Little Sue. She's little and she's called Sue. She's little Sue. Hello, it's me, little, little Sue. Hello, little Sue. Uh, what, 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 how, what can I help you with today? Um, Emma. Yes. You really do need a knob for that apple whacker trap cell door. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. We've we've uh, we've already got Kitford O'Berry <coughs> and Gary Blair. <coughs> Emma, I didn't mean that, and there's no need to be rude about. The other wax. I mean something, a, a mechanism by which you can open the door. Please, please don't be dirty. Uh, yes, I do need a a, a knob for uh, for that door. Yes, I do. You're entirely correct. Uh, Ruth Hay says, uh, yes, she agrees with little Sue, says, yes, surely you have a spare piece knocking about somewhere, Mother Goose. Well, I've got it somewhere. <sighs> Kitford. Absolutely ridiculous. Emma. Yes? G Gary Blair's comment about cobwebs being cleared out was taken with the innocence that we love you for. <laughs> Gary Blair. Oh, that Gary. <laughs> oh, that was well held. That was well held. That's almost scattered off the table. Um, <clears throat> Tim Goff. Oh, uh, what a halftime show. Utterly glorious. A, a truly magnetic performance from Felicia. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying this, that they've been surprised by how well uh, Felicia did yesterday. Um, yeah, she she really did super. Oh, look now, look. These are over a flame, so there must be some sort of kebab. That's what I'm thinking now. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, this is this this looks important. Uh, from Pink Lady. Hear ye, hear ye. Emma has requested a judgment by the Ombuds Goose in the matter of the incarceration of Mr. Kitford Obert, who has appealed the sentence of a night in Affawakatres handed down by Mr. Graham Triggs's adjudication. The judgment of the Ombuds Goose is attached. Oh, well, here we go. Here we go. <coughs> From the office of the Ombuds Goose, this is serious. The appeal to the Ombuds Goose brought by Mr. Kitford O'Bert, a.k.a. Kitford O'Berry, a.k.a. the Caped Caperer, in the matter of sentence of one night in Affawakatres for false advertising. The Ombuds Goose rules in favour of Mr. Kitford O'Bert and commutes his sentence from incarceration to removal to the foot of the pedestal. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's uh, let's get him out. Let's 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 get him out. Come on, out you come. <sighs> Absolute. Well, you don't go to the top of the pedestal. Uh, you're you're there by the, oh, look, Paula Bradshaw's a bit wibbly wobbly there. Sorry. Well, my goodness me, you're lucky. Right, back we go. Back we go. Back 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 to the ombuds goose's uh, ruling. Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Lexwith Bricks, had ruled that Mr. Robert was guilty of false advertising and offering FOX folic acid as an artificial stimulant rather than genuine 8N, as which it was being proffered. However, my investigations show that at the time of making the offer, Mr. Robert genuinely believed that his product was the alleged 8N, and therefore his offer was not false advertising, but just a... Sorry, burp. Just a case of the defendant being a bit dim. Oh, that's... Oh. Hence, he deserves his freedom, though not his place on the pedestal, as he is still a naughty scamp. Truth, justice and FOX forever. Thank you. Well, well done, Pink Lady. Well done, Pink Lady. Nobody can say, nobody can say that 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 thing that matters are not dealt with fairly here. Nobody can say that. It cannot be said that justice is not seen to be done. It cannot be said. Uh, Joe Price. Ah, oh, 
as if by magic. Uh, Paula looks dangerously close to falling off the pedestal. The poor woman has been through enough. Please, can you straighten her up? It's done, it's done, it's done. She's safe. Are you, how are you feeling, Paula Bradshaw? Yes, very calm and relaxed. Oh, she's just a joy, isn't she? She's a joy. Uh, Rosie Lee. Oh, dear God. Oh, no. Warning, she says. If you don't want to see slash know what I've eaten, then skip this tweet. Locust, ants, tarantula, sp uh, spiders, crocodile, snake, frog's legs, ostrich, emu, kangaroo, zebra, kudu, oryx, alpaca, llama, goat, guinea pig, <gasps> and a host of things just called me. There's pictures. Okay, uh, gang, if, if you're a little bit sensitive, look away now. I will make this noise when you can look back again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, look away now. That is a guinea pig. That is a guinea pig eaten by Rosie Lee. What's that? Snake, crocodile and frog's legs. Oh, what's that? Stir fried beef with red ants. Uh, <coughs> Okay, you can look again now. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, Rosie Lee. Oh, I feel like I need to lie down. Oh, Rosie Lee. <coughs> anyway, back to Rosie Lee. Uh, she says uh, some lovely detail around the top of the building to cap a wonderful build, wasn't it? It was just lovely. For me, Assembly Square just has the edge, but this is a close second and another super half-time show. Bravo. Uh, wow, we... What, what is it now, little Sue? Da, da, I'm referring, of course, to your massive sneeze, which was surely the, the massivest sneeze in all the land of sneezes. Yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty big... It was a pretty big sneeze. Um, I, I think Mr Brown is now at the other end of the Lego shed, actually. Hmm. Well, it's quite possible because it was a big sneeze. Katie Hall asks, um, was he up her nose? Oh, you boinger. Absolute boinger. Uh, Tim Goff, uh, there seems uh, to be some uncertainty in how you should manage your recent windfall uh, from YouTube. Actually, I've got something terrible to tell you. I, told, I erroneously told you that I'd earned £3.81. Um, I double-checked. I've actually earned £3.77. £3.77. Um, anyway, he says, uh, may I uh, suggest a uh, drum roll? Drum roll. Uh, all right, I'll give you a drum roll. An offshore bank. Come forth. Come forth, Tim Goff. Um, so an offshore bank, sort of on an island. Yeah, sort of on an island, yeah. Hmm. Do you know who else likes islands? Um, penguins? Things? Uh, no, not penguins. Something else that begins with P. Tim Goff. Oh. Um, pelicans? No, it's it's a toucan. Oh, yeah, it's a toucan. Yeah. Um, mm. All right, back you go. Taking us for absolute fools. Uh, Kidford Elberry, uh, what fresh hell is this? Yes, this is, this is, this is, look, the imposter. The imposter, the imposter. Little Sue says, an imposter. It's an imposter. Um, Emma. Yes. Perhaps we could have a different part of her for Wacker Drowse as some kind of rehab centre. Little Sue, no one's got a drug problem here. All right, <laughs> this, 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 it, it, taking folic acid does not qualify uh, as an addiction to uh, hard drugs. Let's let's just scotch that rumor from the off, shall we? So that's fine. Oh, look at this now. This is lovely. Oh, this is delight. I'm loving this build. Uh, Ruth Hayes, what a fabulous build! I would have loved to have had a peek through the window to see the chandelier properly in place. 
and down through the skylight to see Mr Saucepan's view of the ground floor. No matter, I thoroughly enjoyed it, thanks. Well, if it, if it comes back onto the table for live and bricking, we'll do that then. Uh, Angie Wood, thank you, I received my fabulous minifigure and doodah, bricks up rider. It's taken pride of place at my workplace, my dining table. Looks a bit like me working from home just now, song green and facial hair. There you go. Uh, that's what you get on your birthday. When you're a goose, you get the uh, the Affawank Doodah Breakfast Apple Rider and a random minifigure. If you goose up. If you goose up. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, Angie has a request uh, for little Sue to recite. Are you ready, little Sue? Yes, I'm ready. Please press the button. We sleek it, Karen Timorous. Beastie, oh, what a panics in thy beastie, what is this, Emma? It's Scottish, it's Scottish, it's a famous poem about a mouse, just keep going. Th thou need na start a was a hasty, this what, we bickering brattle, I, what's a brattle, Emma? I would be lathe to win and chase thee with murdering battle. Please press the button. What was that? What was that, Emma? It's just it's 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 Scottish. Just don't, don't worry about it. And that concludes uh, club business. Right, we've got about ten more minutes, so let's knuckle down, shall we? You know, I was worried um, that we'd have to do bag two today as well. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. What's going on? Hmm? Tell you what, it is nice to feel the loveliness of, of, of the Lego brick betwixt my fingers once more. It is super. It's interesting how different it feels. It's much shinier, shinier and smoother and a little bit heavier. Um, oh no, I've done that. I did think I've done that. I've had these before and quite recently I, I feel but I can't quite remember where someone will tell me
wonder what these kebabs are. They must be to do with Chinese New Year. Maybe traditional ones. If someone knows, let me know. Lovely tile. I haven't had that tile before, so I can have a hope I've got those up the right way. No, it's that way. Pearl gold. Love pearl gold. This is nice. How lovely. What I'm loving about this already is the level of detail that they're going into for such a small little thing. Oh gosh, I hope it's all going to be like this. This is divine. Oh no. There we go. Oh, isn't that lovely? Glorious. And here, 
one of those. So this is whatever is the, uh, the, the kebabs are. So that's whatever the kebabs are. That's going there. Couldn't lock this more. delightful different sort of biscuits cakes oh lovely absolutely lovely look Oh, I'm in, I'm in heaven here, absolute heaven. Right, so I want three of these, I'm making three of these, okay. might be going over a little bit today who care do you mind Oh, look, that's amazing. Do you think these are fireworks or flowers? Look at that. We really haven't got much to go now, but I think I'd rather go over today, I think. So apologies if I'm keeping you. But it's so lovely. Oh, I think we want to see it finished. Oh, look at these divine little things. We've never had that before. Again, what are they? Are they a cake? A sort of cake? I mean, could this get any nicer? No, it couldn't. But you're very late, Emma. I know, I know. I know, I know. Shh. We were almost done.
Ooh, pace we've never had before. Okay. We're almost there. seems to be resting up against the, oh no, wait. That needs to be at the back, hang on. Like that, that's an easier fix, isn't it? That's it, and then that goes in there. Oh my goodness me. Chicken legs, chicken legs, and we're done. There we go. Chicken legs, and we're done. And these two things are going in in here. Well, what an absolute delight. Uh, sorry I went a little bit over, but I will see you tomorrow.